at this point, I'd like to cover wild pitches and pass ball situation. Uh, there's a, we're going to have a man on third base, or first and third, or even bases loaded situation. And we're just going to review a little bit about where our players should go defensively so that uh, you avoid having uh, two run scores to have one run score in that in a pass ball wild pitch situation. So the wild pitch pass ball situation where the ball gets past the catcher and that's where we show our red line. Um, what we want our defense to do is our pitcher would cover home plate. Um, catcher would obviously get the ball and get the ball and throw it back to the pitcher in, in order to cut down the run from scoring. And the third baseman and first baseman, they have primary responsibilities of covering um, covering the infield. First base would cover this general area of the infield, and the third baseman would cover this general area of the infield. Um, our second baseman is shortstop. Uh, the shortstop, because there's a run on second, potentially, um, there could be a play at third base, so they cover third. Our, our second baseman will cover second, and our first baseman obviously has a role in covering, you know, again, the middle of the infield. Um, our left fielder would come in and help out for any situation that could occur in the infield, as well as um, center field and right field. So that is the breakdown of a ball that gets away from the catcher and a wild pitcher pass ball and the responsibilities of each player.